Hello everybody, I am on my way into the Clare Estate area, uh, Membry Road to be exact for those of you that know the area. Um, I've had a complaint of um, two snakes that the guy describes as being sort of brownish greyish. Um, he's got some builders on his property and they're busy removing a bit of rubble and they've come across these two snakes. So I'm about three four minutes away all right so we are in Membury Road we're just looking for the house now uh, Membury Road for those of you that don't know is a road in clear estate that is very well known for its um, black mambas and also the Mozambique spitting cobra and that's because as you can see down there there's a big valley it runs all the way through uh, all the way through here and it meets up up there somewhere with the Palmeet Nature Reserve so it's still very wild down there um, lots of wild animals and yeah that's why there are so many venomous snakes in this area all right uh, I think I might have just passed the house um, yeah all right let me Go a bit further and turn around. Oh, wait a minute, we might not. Uh, I think it's there where the, where the white bucky is. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, I'll see you guys now. Okay. Can you show me? Like this one, yeah? Yeah. I think it's two or one? I think it's two or three. Really? There's two and I need the one. Okay. That's one. Okay, so that's a herald, guys. It's also known as a red lipped herald. And it's called a red lipped herald because they sometimes have red on the top lip. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, you see a bit of orange there. So it's called a red lipped herald. Sometimes we just call it a herald because if you call it a red lipped herald, then people actually try and look for the red lip. And if they don't have that, which most of them don't, then they don't believe you that it's a herald. They say it doesn't got red lips, it can't be a herald. But yeah, most of them don't have the red lips. Anyway, they're quite feisty little guys, they can be very cheeky, uh, especially once they've been harassed a little bit. Um, let me take them onto the road and show you. Not that I want to deliberately tease it, but it's nice to show people. <coughs> So how defensive they are. So they're quite quick to get into that position and then they'll strike at anything that's venturing a little bit too close for their liking. And when they do that, most of the time they're actually not trying to bite you, it's more of a, a headbutt. They're just trying to scare you. I mean, if I let him make contact with me, let's see. See, he's not even latching on. He's just trying to intimidate me, make me think that he's about to me. Hey, dude. Okay, enough teasing you now. Let's put you in a bag. And let's go see if there's any others, because they seem to think there's two or three. Maybe not there. Okay. This side. Okay, so apparently there's more here somewhere. Okay. I think he's in inside there, maybe. Okay, nothing there, maybe. I think he's under this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice little gap that it apparently went into, and that goes underneath this. Yeah, there you are. Sure. 
another herald. What do you know? Shame, so they're obviously settled here for the winter. Obviously snakes are a lot less active in the winter months. And uh, this is what they do. They find themselves a nice little cozy place. And they'll pretty much just sleep there until the winter months are over. This one's a little bit more dull in colour and that's because it's going to shed. You can see it's got a lot of loose skin there that's already coming off. But yeah, that's another herald. This one oh, it's also got a little bit of an orangey top lip. Oh. I haven't looked to see if it's a male or female, but I think from what I... It's a red lip herald, is it? That's right. I think from what I can see, they're both females. I yeah. think I, I got bit by one once, and I think I'm going to die in there because it's just, until you read up, then suddenly psychologically you're all right. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. A lot of people do develop symptoms after getting bitten because the common belief with the herald is that if it bites, you're going to get a really bad headache, and that's completely not true. Really, but if that's what you believe. have read or have heard, yeah, yeah, then psychosomatically you end up getting a, a headache. <laughs> How do, you, yeah. how do you tell if male and female on them? Is it in, in, in the, do you it's, feel it? Or, or? Um, so with some snakes it's very easy, like with this guy, with this girl should I say, <laughs> you can see it's quite fat up, oh, yes, yes. up until this point and then it becomes very narrow really quickly. Yeah. And that, that's oh, a girl. Yeah. That's so, a female? Yeah. If it was a male, that tapering would be more gradual, it wouldn't be so sudden. Um, let's see what this other one is. I think it's also a girl. Let's have a look. No, no, no. I'm going to get away. I'm not going to get away. Just sit here. Give it somewhere to hide under the bag. Where's your friend? I know. Come out. Okay, you go in, in the bag as well. Let's check what your friend is. Oh, hey, yeah, and that's a male. There you go. So, yeah, is it? Wait a minute, let me just make sure. Might not be. I kind of need two hands. <laughs> Would you mind hanging on to the phone? And Certainly, yeah. Thanks. So, I need two hands for this. So, I think it's a male, and yeah, that's a male. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hang on a second. We'll invert the. Yeah, that's a boy. Yeah, it's male and female. It's quite unusual for them to be like hibernating together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they would be hibernating now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, they do look for each other and want to be together in the mating season, but it's not now. Um, and there's no other point for them to be together other than for mating. Uh, it may be just coincidence that they both happen to just find mm. the same place. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they really were trying to, you know, stay mm. together, but I don't think so. It's just, just natural shedding, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It'll shed in the next couple of days. Well, I'll actually help it to get that off because it's going to be a bit difficult. He's also been injured there. You see that? Oh, yes. And that's very fresh. Obviously, when he got exposed. Yeah, shame. No, maybe he got and what, scratched you, can up. Can you treat that all right? Yeah, I'll just put some um, silver core cream on there or some Bactroban or something like that. Okay, okay. And then he'll, the snake will form a scab. It'll scab over, and every time it sheds, that little injury will get yeah. smaller and smaller until it disappears. Okay, guys, you're still you still together? See the on the lip there, Jason? Could you see With that? the one that's not shedding, you can see it a oh, little there bit. It is, yeah. yeah. There it is. And most of them don't have that. Is it? Yeah, most specimens in Durban, at least, really? don't have any red. So it becomes quite a confusing thing when you okay. tell people it's a red lipped herald. Yeah, you can't find the red. Yeah. And then they don't believe you. Yeah. They say, no, this snake's not a herald, it hasn't got red lips. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Good stuff.